Hey there, everybody. Welcome. My name is Karina, and I'm from Friendly Pantry Consulting, and I'm here for Foodology Mom Coffee Chat. I hope you are too. Um, I am watching for some people to join. Let me know when you get here. Say hi. Or if you're watching the replay, just um, type in hashtag replay, and that way I know that you've watched and that you've been here. Um, so yeah, I'm Karina from Friendly Pantry, and I am a um, 13 year food allergy mom, and I'm a food allergy lifestyle expert, and I help other families keep their kids safe while living their best life. So I love to kind of take the stress away from allergies. I like to give you tips, tricks for all sorts of things from meal planning to cooking with substitutions to allergy worry, which we're gonna talk a little bit about today, and to other lots of other um, topics as well. So always, um, I'm here on Thursday mornings at 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, which is right now, and um, join me. You're always welcome to join or you're welcome to watch the replay in my IGTV. So let me know if you're here. I can see that um, it's telling people apparently that it's going live. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody yet, but let me know if you're here when you're watching. I'd love to know. And let's talk a little bit about Halloween. So I know Halloween can be stressful for food allergy parents and moms. Um, it's you know, when things are normal, when we're not in this COVID sort of new lifestyle, it's stressful, but it's also stressful now because I don't know about you, I wonder what's happening in your area. You can let me know if you know, but we are allowed to trick or treat. Given there's some kind of suggestions and ideas, so in our area, they are allowed to trick or treat um, I don't know if we're going to be doing that. I don't think so. I think my daughter's going to be doing something else. But um, so usually there's that and that can be very stressful. Um, but now we are also adding that whole COVID layer too. So we've got a lot of stress around that. So <clears throat> there is other options though besides trick-or-treating and it can be safe and less stressful for allergy families. So I have uh, got a few here. So number one, and of course, you need to always intentionally create a plan. So whenever you have something that's stressing you, um, and let's say it's something Halloween, and you need to narrow down what that stressor is. So. Um, this one, we're narrowing it down, we're saying it's Halloween, we're stressed about this, now how can we decrease that stress? So you need to intentionally create a plan. And now some anxieties are going to need more planning. So let's say traveling with food allergies, we do a lot of that, we've done, gone to many countries with food allergies. Um, that's a more in-depth plan. Halloween is going to be a little bit less in-depth, but you still need to plan. And creating that plan is going to be a big help for your stressors, okay? So number one, the three steps for Halloween that I suggest is number one, decide how you're going to participate in Halloween. So are you going to stay at home with your kids and do some sort of really fun um, activity at home? Or are you going to trick or treat? And Maybe you're going to go to a COVID friendly party, like maybe you've got a, another family, like one other family that you want to do things with. Um, those are all options and you need to decide that number one, how are you going to do participate? Okay, now number two, and of course these are all decisions that you need to make and if you need help with decision making, uh, sometimes you need to do a pro and con list things like that, but it's all sort of like micro decisions and one decision will lead to the next. So if you want to start, number one, your three-step plan is how you'll participate. So decide that first, then you need to decide how you're going to make it safe for your allergy kids. So you may need to buy something, um, you may want to bypass buying things if things are tight right now, um, so I have actually some really great ideas on my blog. They are um, 
activities at home, activities that are easy, fun, and don't cost a lot. I have links to all of the templates. So a couple of ideas there are um, like rock painting. Um, there is a baking kit. There is, um, what else? Oh, a pumpkin volcano experiment. There is all of these really fun activities that maybe they're learning something, maybe they're just having fun, whatever, they're, but they're not expensive and they're things that they can do at home safe if you choose that option. Okay, if you're not choosing the at home option, there's other ways that you, other things that you need to plan for. So you need to think about the candy that you're going to get if you are trick or treating and if you want to replace that candy or how you're going to make sure that it's allergy safe for your kids, for your kiddo or your kids. So um, these are, this is the second thing. You need to decide how you're going to make that participation that you decided in step one safe for allergies. And what you do is definitely going to depend on what you choose in number one. So um, I want to just let you make sure you know about that blog where I talk about at home safe allergy friendly ideas. Um, that one is really great for at home, but I also have another blog that's got teal pumpkin ideas. So if you are handing out treats or if you want to trade some little goodies for your kids, I've got some really unique teal pumpkin ideas that are not what you're going to get from every single um, person on the street. These are treats that kids are actually, they left my house saying, wow, look at what I've got. It's not just like a, a spider ring. It's something that they're really excited, like maybe a, um, I don't even know what these things are called, where they put the dots or the little balls into the little dots. Kids love those and they've loved them from many times and of course the glow sticks are always fun too so there's lots of ideas there you need to watch that video it's on my facebook page also on my blog uh teal pumpkin if you search for that you should be able to find it okay so i've got lots of ideas on my blog um, but i would love to know what, what safe candy you found and you can feel free to post it on this video help other moms find some safe candy if you found some what the brand is that works I would love to know and they can kind of peruse that because even though the teal pumpkin is great and the at-home activities are great sometimes it's really nice to have some candy that is safe and that you can give to your child so um, I want I would love to see some of those ideas here because you're going to need to get those that's part of the steps for Halloween because you need a little something I think it's nice I mean Okay, you don't probably need it, honestly, but it's it's nice for the kids to have a little treat. Um, in my blog, I do also have a link to a baking kit that is top eight allergy free, and you will love it. I think it looks amazing, so do check that out because there is a discount code there for that as well. Okay, so that's what you need to do. Number two is decide how you're going to make the activity that you choose safe for your food allergy kiddo. Then number three, make sure you're prepped with all of the allergy stuff. No matter what you choose in the other things, make sure you've got your epinephrine, your action plan. And it may mean you have to talk to your child if you are going trick-or-treating or you're going a place where they're not going to, um, where it's not like your house. Uh, you'll need to talk to them about not eating things before you check them and just making sure that uh, maybe you wait till you get home. I mean, with, with COVID, you probably want to really do that anyway. You might want to quarantine the candy, all that kind of stuff. So um, so make sure that that number, step number three, you've got your allergy stuff ready to go. You understand how to use it and you're feeling good about it. Okay, so that's number three. So once you've got those three steps done, you are going to be ready to have an awesome Halloween, however you decide to do it. And um, I think you're going to have a great time because what I also want you to remember is that your kids are never too young or too old to start a new tradition. And really what your kids are going to remember are being with you, memories and just the special times that you 
you create together. It's not necessarily about what everybody else is doing. So don't compare yourself to what they're doing. I know that um, for me, I had a hard time comparing my childhood to what I was giving my kids because I didn't have food allergies and I just love the trick-or-treating. But I don't think that's the most important part. I think the important part is that the kids are going to love just doing it with you and having those memories together. So don't compare what you had because your child is a new, fresh slate. They will not, um, they will not be saying, I wish I had what you had. They really won't. They, they don't know what you had. So try and keep it from that point of view because it's going to help you feel less worried that you're not giving them a great childhood because that's not what it's about, okay? So tell me, um, are you gonna try this? Are you gonna do some of these, um, make some of these decisions? And I'd love to know what you decide to do. You can always post here, it would be great. And um, I want to know also, what is one thing that is about food allergies that is scarier than Halloween? So I am going to be doing um, a workshop and I want to work on helping, some, helping food allergy moms and food allergy families work on one thing that they find is the most scary about, about not Halloween, about allergies. And so let me know in the comments what you think one thing that is scarier than Halloween about food allergies. And I will, um, I will start researching and getting working on that so that we can um, come together and help get over that anxiety. All right, so let me know about that. If you want to um, be told about that when that's happening, um, just make sure you sign up for my free meal plan, which has top eight allergy um, flexible meals, um, breakfast, snacks, and dinner. And they are, you can get that at friendlypantry.com forward slash meal plan. All right, so thank you. I look forward to hearing all of your Halloween ideas. Also, just a quick note, we are discussing this and there's already been some great ideas in my Facebook group. It's the Mom of Young Kids with Severe Allergy group. Feel free to join if you're not already a member. We are talking all about the Halloween ideas and the candy and all of that. So um, join us there if you want. All right, we will talk to you soon. I will see you next week, same time, same place. Bye for now.